Hey guys, it's Kay. I hope you're all well. Now today I'm going to be looking at installing an SSD to my NVIDIA Shield Pro. So you might be asking, why do you need an NVIDIA Shield TV external storage device? Well basically, in the newer version of the NVIDIA Shield, we lost the SD card slot. So on first glance, storage options look limited. But thankfully, the Shield TV Pro still has two perfectly good USB 3 ports. Previously, I have used a USB thumb drive, but I now want to boost the performance. So I'm going to be using an SSD, and I'm going to use this, the Sabrin 2.5 SATA hard drive SSD to USB 3 adapter. Believe me, that's a bit of a mouthful, but who cares as long as it works. So as you can see, the important thing is it's plug and play and it's hot swappable. Now for the SSD, I'm going to be using this Kingston 240GB drive. This should give my NVIDIA Shield a boost in speed and space. So up close, you can see the Sabrin cable is going to fit perfectly to the SSD and the USB 3 port of the NVIDIA Shield. All that remains to be done is connecting the Sabrin cable to the SSD. And like it says on the box, it's just plug and play. Perfect fit. Now we just need to connect the other end to the USB 3 port of the NVIDIA Shield, but there's a few things we need to do first before we do this. Now the main thing you need to do is connect your hard drive to your PC or Mac, and using a disk utility, format it to XFAT. Now if you miss this step out, you're going to get the following error message when you connect your SSD to your NVIDIA Shield. So once you've done that, you can safely connect your SSD to your NVIDIA Shield. Now back on the NVIDIA Shield, once you power up, you'll see a notification, and it should say USB Drive, tap to set up. Now if you do that, you'll get the option to browse, set up device storage or reject. I'm going to scroll down and select setup as device storage. At this point, you're going to need to format the drive. Now give it a few minutes to do its thing. Now I'll speed this up for your convenience. So when it's complete, you're going to get two options to move your data now or move it later. Now this will move the majority of your data from your NVIDIA Shields drive to the SSD drive. Now I know I haven't got much data to move across, so I'm going to do it now. Again, give it a few minutes. Now it says data has been migrated to the USB drive, but to check, we're going to go into our settings and scroll down to device preferences, and then scroll down to storage. And there you can see we have our SSD with 236 gigabytes. And if we select it, we can see how the space is distributed on the drive. As you can see, mine's quite empty, so I better get busy and start filling this up. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, you might want to watch my other video on upgrading the NVIDIA Shield to 8.20 firmware. You should see a link to it in the top corner now. And don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already done so. And I'll see you all in the next one.